Chris Paul McKenna, who says hypnosis is not just your secret weapon to lose weight. It can also help you keep the weight off. Keep the weight off. The Paul, this is a big show for a lot of people. How can hypnosis help there? Well, because um, it's different to, say, traditional dieting. Uh, uh, dieting is obsessed with the external, this portion size, or that type of food is good and that type is bad. I'm more concerned with the internal. You know, am I really hungry or do I just want to change the way I feel? Because a lot of people these days, you know, change their feelings with food. And so what I'm doing is I'm helping people to change on the inside. And when they change on the inside, they change their behaviors on the outside. Right, so Paul's going to use hypnosis to jumpstart your metabolism. He uses his techniques on not just the people in audiences like this, but can be able to use it on you at home as well. But before I do that, I'm going to ask Paul to, to share a story with us because this program changed the life of one woman who, so, like so many of you, she was struggling to maintain the weight loss until she heard about Paul's approach. This is what Manjeet looked like at her heaviest. This is she at 371 pounds. And Manjeet is in the audience today. Hi, hey, Manjeet. I'm Stan. How are you? Did you hear the gasp from the audience? I know it could have been imagined it was you sitting in their midst. So you lost 200 pounds, is that right? That's right, yes. And, and how long have you kept it off for? Uh, it'll be seven years now. Seven years? Yeah, with a little effort. Now, see, talk to me about that. Actually, I mean, I'm a rocket scientist, but one of the worst <laughs> stigmas you come across being overweight and having a weight problem is people think that, oh, it's as simple as eat less, exercise more. I've always been an emotional eater, and uh, I've tried every single pill, potion you could possibly think of, every diet on the market I've tried. And uh, just to explain how robust this process is, uh, two years ago I was in a horrific car accident with my I'm husband, sure. and unfortunately I lost him. Oh, I'm if anything was going to knock me off the rails, it would have been that, and uh, the weight loss maintained through that whole process. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, okay, you sit down. I'm, I'm going to sit next to Monty over here. He's what's going to do. I'm going to turn the show over to Paul. Uh, Paul's going to use his techniques that everyone here in the audience, but also for everybody at home. Paul, take it away. Okay, thank you. So we are going to do a technique to speed up metabolism. Who here thinks they have a slow metabolism? Anybody believe that? Okay, now, the good news is metabolism is not fixed. What will slow your metabolism is starving yourself. I know people who excessively diet starve themselves. They slow metabolism. So feeding yourself when you're truly hungry will speed it up. And the other thing that does is taking exercise. Now, who here doesn't take any exercise? Yeah? What, so you were, you were carried in here today? You, you didn't walk in? <laughs> so any movement of your body at all counts as exercise. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to link feelings of pleasure to the idea of exercise. Uh, just as Pavlov's dogs, you know, the famous Russian scientist, Feed the dogs, ring the bell. Feed the dogs, ring the bell. Feed the dogs, ring the bell. We are going to do the same thing. We're going to think about pleasurable activity and squeeze our thumb and middle finger together on our hands. So what I'd like you to do is think about something you really like doing. It might be hanging out with your friends. It might be your favorite hobby. It might be something more personal. But think about something that gives you great pleasure. And if you want to, close your eyes and think about that now. Imagine doing that activity that brings you pleasure and see what you see. Hear what you hear and feel how good you feel. Now, what I want you to do is think about taking that pleasure feeling and taking it to regular appropriate exercise so walking a bit more because if you walk a minute more then two minutes more than three minutes more four minutes more etc etc it builds up becomes easier to walk than not walk just link the idea of pleasure that's right to the idea of any kind of exercise moving your body at all particularly to walking then open your eyes come on back out okay who feels good right now yeah thank you very much <laughs> that's it we that's it the going on? Yeah. absolutely so what will happen is um, the next time that, you know, you're faced with the opportunity of, say, you know, parking the car closer to the door, you know, driving around the, 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 shop, the shopping mall, or taking the stairs instead of the elevator, you're more likely to take that choice, which will involve walking or some form of moving. I mean, any kind of movement, sitting here twiddling your thumbs, is, is using energy. This is speeding up metabolism. All right, remarkable. I hope you guys get back in now. <laughs> it's wonderful advice. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take advantage of his wisdom and his techniques. More secret weapons to your war against weight. Coming up next.